Hello everyone. I hope you're all well. Now, today we're moving on to something different and this is something we have done before. So you might remember before Christmas, we did some working backwards problems, okay? So a lot of these problems, they usually begin with, I'm thinking of a number. So here's our first problem. Emmanuel is thinking of a number. He multiplies it by eight and his answer is 32. What number was he thinking of first? So here's Emmanuel, for example, who's thinking of a number. Okay, so the number we need to find out, his beginning number. So he multiplies this by eight, okay? And then his answer is 32. So we need to find out what his starting number is, okay? So when we're doing these kind of problems, we need to work backwards. So we need to do the opposite of what we did here, okay? So if we multiply by eight here, we need to do the opposite of multiplication, which we know is division, isn't it? Okay, so division, is the opposite of multiplication, it's the inverse of multiplication. So, instead of multiplying by 8 here, I'm going to divide 32 by 8. What does that give me? 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So, let's check if we're right. 4 multiplied by 8 gives me... 32. So I'm right. So 4 is the number that Emmanuel was thinking of. Okay? Right, let's try another one. I start with a number. Okay? So let's put a thinking face here again. Right? So I'm thinking of a number. I'm starting with a number. I divide it by 5. So we don't know what the number is. But we divide that number by 5. Okay. Then we add 10. So once we divide it by 5, we're going to add 10. Okay. And then we multiply it by 5. And we end the number 125. Okay. So I have my end number, but I need to find out what my starting number is. So we're going to work backwards. We're going to do the opposite of what we did. So 125. So instead of multiplying by 5, we're going to divide by 5. So what does that give me? 125 divided by 5. So I'm going to use the short division method if you can't do this in your head. Okay. So how many 5s are there in 1? So there are no 5s in 1. So I put my 0 and then I carry my 1. I regroup. How many 5s are there in 12? So 5 goes into 12 twice and then... I have a remainder of 2, which I carry over. How many 5s in 25? There are 5 5s in 25. So 125 divided by 5 gives me 25. We add a 10 here. So I need to do the opposite of adding, which is equal to minus. Okay? So instead of adding 10, we're going to take away 10. So 25 take away 10 gives me 15, okay? Then I'm going to work backwards again. So we divide it by 5 here. So what's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by 5. 
So what's 15 multiplied by 5? So 15 multiplied by 5. So 5 by 5 gives me 25. So my 5. Carry my 2. 5 multiplied by 1 gives you 5. Add the 2. 75. So 75. Is that correct? Let's check. 75 divided by 5 gives me 15. 15 plus 10 gives me 25. 25 multiplied by 5 gives me 125. So I'm correct. So the number I started with was 75. Okay. All right, let's try one more. I'm thinking of a number that's between 50 and 100. Okay. So, so I'm thinking of a number between 50 and 100. So I'm not sure exactly what number it could be, but it's between 50 and 100. So, I find one quarter of it. Okay, so one quarter of that number. Then I add five. Then finally I multiply by three. And my answer is 75. Okay. So what number was I thinking of? So I need to go back to the beginning. So I'm going to work backwards, okay? So, instead of multiplying by 3, what am I going to do? What's the opposite multiplication? Divide by 3. So 75 divided by 3, what's that going to be? So use the short division method if you're not too sure. So how many 3s are there in 7? So there are 2 3s in 7. What's our remainder? 1, which I carry over. How many 3s in 15? There are 5 3s in 15. So 25. So 75 divided by 3 is 25. So I added 5 here. So I'm going to do the opposite, going backwards. So instead of adding 5, I'm going to take away 5. So 25 take away 5 is 20. Okay. Now, here... We found a quarter of the number. Okay, so when we're working backwards here, finding a quarter of numbers basically, um, the working backwards, you're going to multiply by four. Because when we're finding a quarter of a number, you're dividing the number by the denominator. Okay, so that means dividing by four. So working backwards, you're going to multiply by four. So what's 20 multiplied by 4? We know that has to be 80. Okay? So if you're not too sure, 20 multiplied by 4. So 0 by 4 is 0. 4 multiplied by 2 is 80. Okay. So let's check that we're right. So 80. So I find what's a quarter of 80? Or 80 divided by 4 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 multiplied by 3 gives me 75. So I'm correct. So the number that I was thinking of in the beginning was 80. Okay. So children, when you're working these problems out, okay, do it exactly like I've done it here. So step by step, write out what you've done step by step. So you have this box blank. Next step, next step, next step. You have your end number and then work backwards. So do the opposite of what you did here. It's so like the opposite of multiplication, division, opposite of adding, take away, opposite of division, multiplication. Okay? So take your time, pause this video as many times as you need to. Bye for now.